All right, today is the day and we are working on the front subframe once again. I'm bringing in a new adapter plate to lower our differential up there. And while we're on that front subframe, we're gonna just throw in a couple of other things, work on that front crash structure a little bit more, get ready to put a radiator in there. And we got some brakes going in there, all kinds of things good up front. Anyway, let's jump in, take a look. Now, when I picked up the radiator from the wrecking yard, it had a couple of tabs that were mounted to the unibody structure of the car. So I took those along with the radiator. Now here I've had some tabs cut with the water jet that I'm going to use to use the original tabs from the radiator to do the mounting. So they have a couple of slots and a bolt hole, and I'm gonna weld those to this little cross member that we're gonna take in and mount to the rest of the craft structure. So once it gets mounted to the crash structure, we'll have this cross member that will be our lower radiator brace. And to make sure of a fit, we're going to throw the steering rack back on because we want to push this lower brace right up against the steering rack. Well, not right against it. We want a little bit of a clearance, but as close as we can get it there. So I'm going to try it in place and put a couple of marks on it and then pull the whole crash structure off and bring it out here so I can have access to it and put some rivet nuts in it and some drill holes to mount the whole thing together. So just marking both sides to get matching holes. And I'm going to drill through it for my six millimeter bolts. And then I'll move that over to the crash structures, transfer my marks through it, and then drill those out so that we can accept some rivet nuts. And I'll just take my six millimeter uh, drill bit, put a pilot hole through it, and then I'll swap it out for the larger size. I don't remember what the size is to fit the rivet nuts, just slightly over the six millimeters, of course, so the rivet nuts will expand in there and fit the bolts that we have chosen, those six millimeters. Now, there have been a couple of comments about whether these rivet nuts will stay fixed but there really is very little torque on these rivet nuts it's just a matter of an assembly of this whole structure and once you have uh, the 30 or so nuts holding this or bolts holding this whole thing together and a little loctite i don't think we'll have any trouble with the rivet nuts coming loose or the bolts vibrating loose it'll become one nice unit Also threw on uh, that front piece, holding that thing parallel, and then we'll go and mount it to our chromoly subframe. And once we get that in place, we can work on the upper cross member as well that will hold the upper mounts for our radiator. Now here's the brackets that I was talking about that came out of the car that was holding the radiator before. You see they're kind of tipped at an angle. Rather than being up and down, this radiator is going to tilt slightly forward, about 15 degrees. And then there'll be a, another frame that goes across the top and uh, the upper mounts will fix to it. And those upper mounts will be um, riveted and bonded and they will be able to move around. I've got a couple of an inch or so of adjustment area, but we're going to put those on once this whole thing has been affixed. So we're going to go through the same process of uh, drilling a couple holes through, one being the pilot hole for the rivet nuts onto the cross member, and then the original holes that went through, that's where our six millimeter bolts will go through. I'm going to put some longer six millimeters in there just so that I can uh, move it around on the other side as I drill and get those ready. Drill them through with the six millimeters, then pull it out, change out to our bigger size for the rivet nuts, expand our rivet nuts into the holes. And now it's ready for a little more permanent insulation. Slide it down, throw some six millimeter nuts into each side and tighten them up with our ratchet. That's ready for receiving our mounts. We're going to switch now to our differential. Now, if you remember this kind of cross brace that was the mount for the differential, kind of a bow tie effect. 
Well, we have adapted that to build it much stronger. It's got some uh, trusses to uh, stiffen that plate up. A couple of uh, mounting tabs to go across and put a diagonal brace into our thing. But we have one problem with our fit here. We didn't know exactly where our uh, coolant tubes from our last video were gonna go. So we're gonna try this thing into position, get it nice and square centered. It won't go low enough to get the bolts to line up with the original tabs until we uh, make a little notch for our coolant tubes. So I'm gonna mark those off and I'll run into the other room. Magic of video editing, I'm done. Notched out. Now it's a matter of putting our bolts in, lining up with the tabs on the Kermali subframe. Now these eight bolts, I'm not gonna put them all in permanently, just put a couple in just to hold it in place while we're getting the trial fit on this. And with the bolts in place, we're gonna grab that differential and as I start to heave that thing around, realize, hey, I'm kind of hot. Get rid of that jacket. This thing wakes, weighs, I just figured about 45 pounds for that differential. It lines up with a couple of bolts on the top. There are studs that are mounted to the differential on the top and then some bolts that go through in the bottom. We're just gonna put the top ones in, tighten them up until it presses that flange right through our big hole. That will line up with our tunnel. There's our differential in place. Now here's the other thing. I have also, in this new adapter plate, have a mounting place for our brakes, master cylinder and booster. Riding just above our axle. There should be plenty of swing in the axle that it won't hit that. And next to the brake booster, a whole adapter plate where our steering column is gonna come through it will run down to a little universal that ties onto the front of our steering rack. And there it is. Well, you have just seen some front subframe assembly and now you're gonna start jumping off this video because you think it's over and I'm just gonna rattle on about what you've seen in the video. But actually I would like to have a little conversation and I know those diehard fans that come to see the work here and watch all the way to the end, maybe the ones left and that's where I'd like it to be. But anyway, I have a few questions and maybe as I ask those questions, you can go down and make a comment below in response. And that is, I am here reaching about 60,000 subscribers in the channel. And I guess that's kind of a milestone that we're climbing up there and still doing pretty good with people coming and discovering us here. But I have uh, been a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna say troubled, but I've just been thinking a lot about how I want the direction of the channel to go. Now, some people have been a little bit put off by me introducing the Leviathan project when they've come here to see me build the Arate supercar. But as the channel name suggests, this is Builder Creator. It is not the Arate supercar channel. I am a prototype engineer and I will be building cars and maybe even moving into some aircraft and just all kinds of other things, hopefully in the future. Of course, we have two automotive projects here because I have a great interest in automotive projects and there'll probably be more of those as well, we hope. But here's my question. I have a lot of things going on in my life. Um, I have great interest in gardening and we're coming into spring. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that, more of that. I do some artwork. I'm always doing some kind of construction project to add on to the house. I have another house that my daughter lives in that we're doing remodeling on. Just all kinds of things going on in my life besides that, even another business that I have. How much of that is interest and are people that watch this channel interested in me bringing some of those side things that I do? And I hate to even call them side things. Are people interested in seeing more of a round fullness of what I do in my life rather than just the single singularity of the Aerotape Project or Leviathan? Are people interested in the other things I do for curiosity's sake, or maybe some also some learning in what I do in those things as well. Anyway, if you have an inkling either way to start adding more things into my videos or just leaving them out and sticking purely to the assembly of the supercar or Leviathan, please let me know.
put those in the comments. I'd be interested to see what you have to say. Anyway, that's our video for today, and I'm glad you came along. Hope to see you again. Thanks for stopping by.